Hey you guys, so I've created another look for you. This one is called the Dark of Vixen. So I, as you can see, it's pretty dark, pretty sultry, pretty smoky. And if you want to know how to do this look, stay tuned. I've already applied my foundation, my cover up, and also my primer potion from Urban Decay onto my lids. Now as a base on our lids, we'll use the Black Track Fluid Line. You can apply it from the lash line all the way just above the crease. Just like so. And with a clean brush, you can blend the edges. Once the base is dry, you can apply carbon from MAC Cosmetics all over the lid with your 239 brush. Now with your pencil brush, the 219 from MAC, you can take some carbon and bring it down to the lower lash line. Now you can take your 222 from MAC, still use carbon, and start blending the color into the crease. It's important to blend because this look is so dramatic. We're only using black, and I believe we'll be using nylon and another light color. But the only strong color we're using in this look is carbon. So you need to make sure that you blend really well because that is the key. We're bringing the carbon um, a little bit more higher than we would. But this is once again more of a high fashion look. It's very dark. Even for nighttime, I think it's definitely too um, porn star-ish. Now, or to find a brow bone, I'm going to use Brulee and apply it with my 227 brush from MAC Cosmetics and apply it right on the brow bone. For this look, I really wanted to use a highlight as close to my um, skin tone as possible because if I would have used white, it would have been too much of a contrast. I'm going to take some more carbon. And we're just going to apply it under the waterline. Make sure you don't apply anything on the waterline because we'll be applying a white liner. Just because the look is so dark, if we apply like a coal eyeliner, it will close this, it will close the eye completely. Now you can go ahead with the fascinating eye coal from MAC Cosmetics and applying it on the waterline. I'm going to apply my 111 lashes from Ardell's. And Once the lashes are dry, you can apply the Black Track Fluid Line just on the band of the lashes, just to hide that band that we have. Once you're done with that, you can apply a coat of mascara just to blend your natural lashes with the fake ones. I'm going to contour my face with Elise Wetsy Bronzer. It's called Satellite Intense. Now I'm going to take the Mineralized Blush Grand Duo and applying it onto my cheeks. Mineralize Skin Finish in Refine and applying it just on top and around the eye. Now again it's going to create some sheen. You don't want to put it all over the face, you want to control that We're going to take a little bit of um, concealer and mute our lips. So today I'll be using the Shy Girl from MAC Cosmetics and I'm going to apply that. On top of that I'll be using um, the Boy Bait also from the Cream Sheen collection. Apply that lip gloss on top of your lipstick. And now what will bring this look to another level 
is I really want that glossy effect on my lids so I'm going to apply some clear lip gloss onto my lid. I'm sure you've probably seen this look before in magazine, fashion magazine. You could actually use as well Vaseline for this. It really doesn't matter what you use, just make sure you don't get it into your eyes. Um, cover 